Have you ever paused and asked yourself, am I truly living or merely existing? We all drift through the flow of time, engrossed in chasing ambitions, expectations, and hopes for the future. But when we face the final moments of our lives, will we be able to look back and say that we lived a meaningful and fulfilled life? Stoic philosophy, a foundation of deep thoughts about life, not only helps us understand the finiteness of human existence, but also shows us how to enjoy each moment. Life is not an endless journey, but a series of fleeting moments interwoven with joy and suffering. Stoicism does not promise you a path strewn with roses, but it gives you the sharpest tools to face all the storms and changes life brings. Before we leave this world, there are lessons you need to know, not just to confront the finiteness of time, but also to live a life full of depth and strength. Within the treasures of Stoic philosophy lie the secrets to finding peace even in adversity, accepting impermanence, and overcoming the inevitable difficulties of life. In today's video, we will explore the seven most important Stoic lessons, lessons that could change your life forever. From understanding the value of patience to accepting that nothing lasts forever, each lesson is a precious gem that helps you build inner strength and live a life full of meaning. Let's embark on this journey together. Don't wait until it's too late to realize that you've missed the chance to live fully. Are you ready to change your life? Number one, your comfort zone is your coffin. Stoic philosophy always emphasizes that our lives are limited not by external challenges, but by the limitations we impose on ourselves. The comfort zone is where we feel comfortable, safe, and free from uncertainty. But have you ever asked yourself, what is this comfort zone giving you? In reality, it is like an invisible coffin, keeping us in a still space, but also the place where our dreams and potential are buried. The Stoic philosophers taught that life should be lived with courage and preparation for challenges. As Marcus Aurelius wrote in Meditations, do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. This statement expresses a simple yet powerful truth. Suffering and challenges are not things to fear, but lessons and opportunities for us to grow and develop. If we remain in our comfort zone, we will never know what the vast world out there has to offer. Look at the lives of successful and strong people. All of them had to face uncertainty, suffering, and sometimes failure. A unique example is the story of American climber Alex Honnold, who became a legend after conquering El Capitan without any safety ropes. Honnold didn't just push the limits of physical endurance, but also overcame the fear within his mind. Before climbing, he spent years training to face fear and uncertainty, even accepting the risk of death. Alex Honnold didn't seek safety. He sought challenges to overcome and live up to his true potential. He understood that the comfort zone was not where he wanted to live because, in that place, life lost its meaning. However, not everyone needs to do something as grand as conquering a mountain to step out of their comfort zone. Sometimes, small changes can bring great progress in life. Ask yourself, am I clinging to a job that no longer fits me because I'm afraid of the uncertainty that comes with change? Am I avoiding deep relationships because I fear being hurt? Stoic philosophy teaches that only when we face uncertainty and accept risks. To live fully, each person must learn to embrace challenges and appreciate mistakes and failures, for they are the stepping stones to success and growth. 
if we do not step out of our comfort zone, we will never discover how vast our potential truly is. Those who never face challenges live in a state of stagnation, like a pond with no flow, gradually becoming stagnant and lifeless. When looking back on your life, what you may regret most are not the failures, but the missed opportunities, the times when you didn't dare step out of your comfort zone to experience new things. Life is finite, but its value lies in how we face challenges, not in how we seek stability. Remember, the comfort zone may give you ease, but it is also the coffin that buries your dreams and potential. So, what are you waiting for? Number 2. Expectation is the root of misery. Expectations, from the perspective of Stoic philosophy, are the deep root of all suffering in life. It's when we create in our minds a vision of how things should unfold, about people, events and outcomes. But life, with its complex and unpredictable nature, rarely meets those expectations. When reality does not align with what we expect, we feel disappointment, pain and even anger. Epictetus, one of the prominent Stoic thinkers, once said, Men are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of them. Expectations are one of the ways of thinking that most disturb and cause suffering in people. Consider a modern-day example. You've been preparing for a long vacation after months of hard work. You expect to have a wonderful experience from a luxurious hotel to breathtaking natural scenery. But when you arrive, the weather is bad, the hotel is disappointing, and you feel let down. Why is that? Was the trip really that bad? Or was it your expectations that turned an otherwise normal trip into a series of disappointments? Your expectations created an idealized version of reality, and when reality didn't meet that, suffering arose. Marcus Aurelius, in his work Meditations, also emphasized the importance of letting go of expectations and accepting reality. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. When we let go of expectations about things we cannot control, we're no longer bound by specific outcomes, and as a result, we can find inner peace even when things do not go as planned. In daily life, there are countless examples of how expectations lead to suffering. A mother expects her child to achieve high academic results, but then feels disappointed when the results don't meet her hopes. A couple expects their love to last forever, but later faces a breakup. It is our expectations that everything should go perfectly, that people should treat us as we want, that create unnecessary suffering. But Stoic philosophy teaches that if we can let go of expectations and focus only on what we can control, we can free ourselves from these negative emotions. This doesn't mean we should live without goals or strive for nothing. Instead, Stoic philosophy advises us to focus on the process, not the outcome. Do your best, but accept that the final result is not in your hands. Ask yourself, what has hurt you in the past? Was it the actual event or your expectations of it? Try reflecting and practicing letting go of expectations and you'll find that life becomes much lighter. Ultimately, the greatest lesson that Stoicism offers is this. It is not things or events that cause you pain, but the way you react to them. When you learn to let go of expectations and face life with calm, 
you will find true freedom. Number three, friends are not forever. Have you ever thought that friendship, the thing we cherish and often see as unchanging, might be just a temporary part of our lives? We often dream of lifelong friendships, believing that there will be people who will stay by our side forever, sharing every up and down. But is that realistic? Or are we just deceiving ourselves? Stoic philosophy, with its profound insights into life, will bring you to a somewhat harsh but essential truth. Friendship does not last forever. It sounds sad, but when you understand this lesson, you will see that the impermanence of relationships is what makes them meaningful. If we don't face this truth, are we not living in a sweet but fragile illusion? And if that illusion shatters, how will you cope when reality sets in? Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, you become what you give your attention to. This applies to friendships as well. We tend to place too much expectation and attachment on close friends, thinking the relationship will last forever. But in reality, everything in life changes over time, including friendships. The companion you have today may not be by your side tomorrow, as everyone's life is constantly in flux. They may move far away, pursue new goals, or their interests may simply change. At this point, Stoic philosophy advises us to learn how to let go and accept the fact that nothing lasts forever. Friendship is no exception to the rule of impermanence in life. Marcus Aurelius, one of the greatest Stoic philosophers, reminded us, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. From this, Marcus encourages us to understand that clinging to a relationship, whether it is friendship or love, only leads to suffering. When you accept that friendship may end, you begin to appreciate the present moments more and live with gratitude instead of fear of loss. In reality, many people have experienced the loss of friendships and they feel empty and hurt. But does feeling sad and regretful change the fact that people are always changing and that life is constantly moving? Imagine, for instance, a close friend from high school, two people who shared many memories, but as time passes, they go in different directions. One gets married and starts a family, the other pursues a career in another city. The friendship gradually fades, not because anyone did anything wrong, but simply because their lives have taken different paths. What will you do in this situation? Be sad or appreciate what you had and continue your journey. Remember that while friendship may not last forever, this does not diminish its value. Understanding this impermanence allows us to live fully in the present. Cherish every moment with your friends, but never forget that life is a continuous flow, and along that journey, some people will leave. When you master this lesson, you will learn how to love without needing to possess, and how to appreciate without needing to cling. Friendship does not last forever, but when you accept impermanence, you will find freedom and peace in your relationships. Are you ready to walk forward with peace, even when those closest to you may one day part ways? Number four, sacrifice is essential. Life is a series of continuous choices and trade-offs. We cannot have everything we want without giving something up. In Stoic philosophy, sacrifice is not just a necessary action, but an essential element for achieving freedom and inner growth. Sacrifice, in the Stoic sense, does not mean suffering or loss, 
but rather a wise choice to focus on what truly matters in life. Epictetus, one of the great Stoic philosophers, once said, if you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. He emphasized that to truly progress, we must be willing to sacrifice the approval, praise, or even reputation we receive from others. In return, we gain personal growth and self-control, values far more enduring than trying to please everyone. Have you ever asked yourself if clinging to relationships or material possessions truly brings lasting happiness? Or are they merely distractions that pull you away from what's more important? In the modern world, we can easily see examples of sacrifice in successful people. Top athletes like Kobe Bryant and Serena Williams had to sacrifice leisure time, sleep, and even personal relationships to dedicate their hearts and souls to their sports careers. But that trade-off gave them greatness, freedom, and a sense of purpose that no one can take away. Similarly, in business, many entrepreneurs have had to give up financial stability or personal lives to pursue their dreams of starting a business. Are you willing to give up short-term pleasures to achieve long-term goals, as they did? Stoic philosophy teaches that life is a journey, and along the way, we cannot carry everything with us. When we desire too much, we become slaves to those desires. Conversely, when we learn to let go of things that are not important, money, fame, even harmful relationships, we become spiritually rich. It is through sacrificing trivial things that we gain inner freedom and tranquility. A lesser known example of sacrifice in life can be seen through those who choose to live simply, such as the minimalism movement. Those who follow this movement have decided to give up their obsession with owning material things to seek spiritual freedom. By abandoning complexity and excess, they create space for creativity and inner peace. Have you ever thought that if you reduced your material attachments, your life would be more peaceful and focused on what truly matters? Interestingly, sacrifice doesn't always have to be grand. It can be small daily sacrifices, from spending less time on social media, to spending more time with family, to passing up an easy money-making opportunity to uphold your moral values. These small sacrifices, accumulated over time, lead to a more meaningful and balanced life. Sacrifice is the path to inner freedom and true happiness. To live a meaningful life, we must be willing to give up what is unnecessary. Join the conversation in the comments section. Are you ready to let go to live a deeper life? We want to thank and congratulate you for making it halfway through today's video. Your presence here shows that you are fully ready for this journey. Now, let's turn our attention to the remaining three lessons as we pause and reflect on the process of self-improvement. Number five, stop chasing love. Love is one of the deepest things that humans desire. However, for Stoic philosophy, love is not something to blindly chase after. Don't chase love does not mean giving up on love, but it reminds us not to let our lives be controlled by the craving and dependence on something as fragile and uncontrollable as love. This is not only useful advice for modern life, but also a profound lesson about inner freedom, a value that Stoic philosophy always emphasizes. Ask yourself, how many times in your life have you felt trapped by the need for someone's love to feel complete? Marcus Aurelius, in his work Meditations, once said, choose not to be harmed and you won't feel harmed. 
don't feel harmed and you haven't been. This is an important reminder that our emotions are not dictated by external factors, but by how we respond to them. Love, a powerful emotion, often makes us vulnerable and dependent. If we allow ourselves to be ruled by love, we hand over control of our emotions to others. Stoic philosophy encourages us to look at the nature of love and realize that if we place too much expectation on it, it can lead to suffering. Imagine someone who constantly chases after love, believing that only through the recognition and affection of others can they feel complete. This is like chasing the shadow of happiness, something that can never truly be grasped. We cannot control love from others, and it is in this helplessness that pains like heartbreak, jealousy, and hurt arise. In real life, consider situations where a person gives everything for love, only to be disappointed when the relationship doesn't go as they had hoped. For example, you may have witnessed stories of people who depend too much on love, losing themselves in the process of pursuing it. Some people become so consumed by the chase for love that they neglect their careers, mental health and self-worth. A case in point would be those who sacrifice everything for a relationship only to experience betrayal or failure, ultimately feeling lost and empty. Stoic philosophy teaches us that love should not be the ultimate goal of life, but rather a part of the journey of self-improvement. If we can find joy and happiness within ourselves, independent of the approval of others, we will become stronger. Love, in the eyes of a Stoic, should come naturally and leave naturally, without attachment or force. This liberation brings true freedom to the mind and soul. Next, let's move on to Lesson 6 on the journey to discovering and mastering our best abilities. But before that, I have a question for you. Have you ever wondered why sometimes we follow the crowd without stopping to consider whether it's the right thing? That's a major challenge that Stoic philosophy reminds us of. The majority is often wrong. In a noisy world where people are swept along by social trends, collective opinions and external pressures, maintaining independent thinking and asking questions becomes more important than ever. Number six, the majority is often wrong. Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher emperor of Rome once said, it never ceases to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. We often place too much emphasis on the opinions of others to the point of forgetting that we can think for ourselves to assess what is right and what is wrong. Stoic philosophy calls on us not to be swept away by the majority because the crowd is often driven by fleeting emotions temporary desires and a lack of understanding. Look at modern life. On social media, people are easily caught up in trends and waves of opinions that are sometimes not based on facts. Even major life decisions, like choosing a career, buying a house or pursuing a relationship, are often influenced by the opinions around us rather than our evaluations. For instance, in the financial world, how many times have we witnessed financial bubbles where the masses rush into investments only to realize too late that they were caught in a baseless frenzy? The 2008 financial crisis is a vivid example of how easily the crowd can make mistakes, dragging millions into collapse. Epictetus, one of the most distinguished Stoic philosophers also emphasized the importance of not letting oneself be carried away by the crowd. Don't explain your philosophy, embody it. 
This means that instead of trying to argue and defend your views to others, you should live according to the principles you believe in and let your actions speak for themselves. Independent thinking is not just the ability to have your own opinions, but also the courage to act on what you believe is right, even when faced with opposition from others. So, how can we cultivate independent thinking? One of the best ways is to learn how to question. Ask yourself, is this true? Am I pursuing what I truly believe in, or am I just following the crowd? Asking yourself these questions helps slow down the decision-making process and allows you to see things from different angles. In life, those who dare to step out from the crowd to do what they believe is right are often the ones who make the greatest difference. Think about scientists like Galileo Galilei, who bravely challenged society's views on the universe, or entrepreneurs like Elon Musk, who dared to dream of a future filled with uncertainty through projects no one dared to imagine. Ultimately, independent thinking doesn't mean you have to go against everyone. Sometimes the majority is right, but what's important is that we don't blindly follow them just because of social pressure. Independent thinking is not just a lesson from Stoic philosophy, but also the key to living a valuable life a life not dictated by the opinions around you. Number seven, patience is power. Have you ever wondered why patience is considered one of the most powerful and important virtues of humanity? In an increasingly fast-paced world, where people always seek instant success and immediate gratification, patience seems to be an underrated quality. But in Stoic philosophy, patience is not just a virtue, but a great source of strength that helps us maintain our spirit in the face of life's challenges and difficulties. Reflect on the famous quote by Epictetus, no great thing is created suddenly. All great things require time and patience. Great achievements, deep life changes, or personal growth cannot happen overnight. It is a long process that requires perseverance and determination. But why is patience so powerful? Because it's not just about waiting. It's about how we act, think, and face all obstacles while waiting. It is the ability to maintain a long-term vision, unshaken by short-term difficulties. Think of someone nurturing the dream of building a successful business. Initially, they will face countless difficulties, from tight finances and failures in business strategies to disappointing business relationships. In such situations, should one seek an immediate solution or patiently learn from mistakes and stick to long-term goals for true success? Elon Musk the founder of SpaceX and Tesla, is a clear example. When facing three failed rocket launches, he didn't give up, but patiently pursued his mission. And on the fourth launch, SpaceX succeeded, opening a new era for the space industry. Patience was the strength that helped him overcome the most difficult moments. In Stoic philosophy, Patience is also seen as acceptance and harmony with the natural flow of life. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most famous Stoic philosophers, wrote in Meditations, Time is like a river made up of events which happen and a violent stream, for as soon as a thing has been seen, it is carried away and another comes in its place, and this will be carried away too. Life is like a constantly flowing river and everything will pass. Patience helps us understand that no pain is eternal and no difficulty is unchanging. Everything is just a temporary event in the flow of life. When we realize this, we can face any adversity without letting it break our spirit. So, 
How can we apply the lesson of patience in our daily lives? Perhaps the answer lies in accepting what we cannot control and focusing on what we can change. Instead of worrying about the outcome of a project, we should patiently work with maximum effort, knowing that success will come if we remain steadfast and do not give up. Patience not only helps us achieve great goals, but also brings inner growth, helping us become the best version of ourselves. So, are you ready to accept that patience is not just about waiting, but it is the strength to face all of life's challenges? Life is inherently short and filled with unpredictable changes, but it is precisely in this uncertainty that we find the true meaning of existence. The lessons from Stoic philosophy are not distant ideas, but guiding principles, a light that leads us through the most difficult moments. Before your time reaches its end, understanding and applying these profound lessons will help you live a life worth remembering. A life not bound by fear, regret or suffering. Live a life not just filled with ordinary moments, but a meaningful one, marked by clarity, patience and unwavering faith in yourself. To live not just to exist, but to leave a true impact on the world, that is how we find immortality within the limits of time. Are you ready to change your life forever? If you find this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button to support the channel. Leave a comment with your thoughts and share the video with friends and family to spread the good values of Stoic philosophy. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss upcoming videos on Stoic living and personal development.